Hey, what's up everyone? Jason Hurley here, back again with more Dead Face CTF. We're knocking these out while they are live. We're going to click on the Steganography category, Something in the Dark, which is worth 30 points, uh, meaning it's relatively easy. It's created by Syntax. And Steganography, if you're not familiar, it just means the process of like hiding data within other data. So maybe hiding a message in an image or hiding something in an audio file. But in this case, uh, the description here tells us that there's a sensitive photo. Um, as far as we can tell, it's just a normal photo of a neighborhood at night. But the man who took the photo insists he saw something else there. Here's the man's original tweet. He later added the following image below, and then we're able to download the image here. But let's actually click here and see what kind of tweet um, that there is. Okay, zoom in a little bit. Anyone see that weird object outside? It kept flashing red, green, and blue before disappearing. I tried to catch a photo of it, but it vanished. Okay, so from here, uh, the hint kind of tells us that we need to play around with colors. So let's grab this image here. Oh, if we just click on it, it opens. And we don't really see too much of anything. If I zoom in a little bit, so it is a neighborhood, we see the street lights here, but if I look like right around here, right above this cloud, we do see something that looks a little bit funky, right? If you can see this outline right there, uh, it might be hard to see on your screen. So let's actually grab this and let's download it to our computer. So I'm gonna download, download it from my terminal with wget, did you see it dot png, Let's run the file command on it. We know it's an image, but just to make sure. And if we wanted to open it from our terminal, we can use um, a program called EOG, I of GNOME, and then we'll open it up here as well. But since we already have it opened, we know we want to play around with the colors. So we could use um, GIMP. I don't think I have GIMP installed. Okay, so in order to solve this, we know we want to edit the colors or play around with the colors at least. We can use a great tool called Steg Solve. It might not be downloaded by default, um, and you have to download it online. And there, if you just search uh, Steg Solve Download, you should be able to find it. Here we go, Steg Solve um, Install. And they give us a command that we can run and install it on your computer. It will be saved as a .jar, a JavaScript archive. So I um, renamed it and took out that extension. So now when I can just run stake solve and it pops up this very, very tiny window. I'm not sure why mine is so tiny, but let's expand and open it up here. Let's go to file, open, and add that did you see it.png. Okay, it's a little small, but hopefully you guys can see it. So at the very bottom, we see two arrows left and right, and we can just start toggling through. And we see here at the top, it changed the color inversion. So if I go back one, we see it just says normal image. But now as I start clicking here, we see it starts um, inverting colors and this looks blank. So let's just keep smashing this uh, key. Okay, so this is red plane seven. And we're just gonna keep clicking until we see anything. Oh, there we go. We can start seeing uh, the piece of the flag. Let's go a little bit further. Uh, maybe that was too far. Let me go back. So we can see here the flag. Are we uh, alone with two question marks? And then we do see something that looks like a UFO here. So I can come over here and type that in. Go back. And I can type that into the CTF window. Flag, uh, how is it spelled? Are we alone? Four, one, O, N, three, question mark, question mark. Nice. So uh, that's it for that challenge, but I'm actually gonna see if we can use some type of like OCR tool, some type of like optical imagery that will carve out um, this flag for us. So let's see, OCR tool. 
free online OCR, image to text and PDF to document converter. Sure, let's give that a go. Let's give this a shot. I'm not sure if I can just upload the file as it is, or if I need to specifically upload this. I got a weird ad pop up. Let's see if we can just upload the image as it is. Is that too big? It says, no, there we go. Um, image to text converter, convert. There's a lot of ads on this site. It's kind of annoying. I might need to save, save this specifically as its own image. My goodness, these ads. No text recognized. Okay, so let me come here and let me save this. Can I just do save as? Solve that BMP. Let's save this as a PNG. LS, EOG solved. Okay. So let's upload this and it might have to pick a different website. This one looks just disgusting. Okay. The file plain text convert and let's give it a few moments. Oh, wow. So it was able to solve it. So if I can zoom in here a little bit, hopefully you guys can read this. It didn't get it perfectly, but we do see the beginning of the flag and the opening curly brace, and it kind of fumbled here, um, but it did get this alone correct. I got the question mark. So not perfect, but hey, good enough for government work. So that's really it for this challenge, guys. Hopefully it was enjoyable. If you've never played around with Stake Solve, it is a pretty neat tool for capture the flags and whatnot. Uh, I'll be back soon as we continue knocking out some of these challenges. Take it easy and see you guys in the next video.